Jesus. Love you, Jesus loves you. Sacrifice or God's will? Sacrifice or God's will? I wanted to read a little bit of Hebrews 10 and then talk about it, so I'll just start reading. Hebrews 10. For the law, since it it's Hebrews 10, 1 to 19. Hebrews 10, 1 through 19. For the law, since it has only a shadow of the good things to come and not the very form of things, can never by the same sacrifices which they offer continually year by year make perfect those who draw near. Otherwise would they not have ceased to be offered because the worshippers, having once been cleansed, would no longer have had consciousness of sins. But in those sacrifices there is a reminder of sins year by year. For it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Therefore, when he comes into the world, he says, Sacrifice sacrifice and offering you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In whole burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me to do your will, O God. After saying above, sacrifices and offerings and whole burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin you have not desired, nor have you taken pleasure in them which are offered according to the law. Then he said, Behold, I have come to do your will. He takes away the first in order to establish the second. By this will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Okay. I wanted to read a little bit more in a second, but so basically it says sacrifices and sacrifice and offering you have not desired, whole burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin you have taken no pleasure. So, and, and earlier it says the shedding of bulls and goats does not take away sins. So sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin you have not desired what does he want and this is jesus speaking but a body you have prepared for me and then i said behold i have come in the scroll of the book it is written of me to do your will O god so the whole point is to be doing god's will not sacrificing for him so Jesus, instead of all the bulls and goats being sacrificed, God, Jesus is God, came down in human form and did God's will perfectly. He did God's will perfectly, fulfilled the law, offered his body and his blood for, for our sake. He died in our place what we deserved. He paid the price for our sin so that we could be reunited to him. But you still have to, he broke the what was in the middle, which was our sin, but we still have to give our life to Jesus. But if you'll notice in, uh, if you'll notice in this passage, uh, it also, like that's also what we're supposed to do. Um, in verse 15, and the Holy Spirit also testifies to us, for after saying, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws upon their heart, and on their mind I will write them. And their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. So, the new covenant is that when you give your life to Jesus, you get the Holy Spirit living in you with the Bible written on your heart, with God written on your heart, with God's laws written on your heart. So Jesus Jesus said sacrifices and stuff because you sinned. I don't want any of that. I'm going to fulfill all of God's will. So Jesus fulfilled God Jesus fulfilled God's will perfectly and paid for everything. And when we give our life to Jesus, we get his laws written on their heart so we can do the same thing, so we can do God's will. So it's not about, like the, the passage in Matthew where many will say, Lord, Lord, and he will say, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. They said, we did all these things in your name. We cast out demons in your name. We did miraculous things in your name. Those were all sacrifices to God. 
Like they were cast, they were doing good things for God. They were healing people for, in Jesus' name. They were casting out demons in Jesus' name. Those were all sacrifices for Jesus. But Jesus says, I don't want that. I want you to do my will. So maybe while they were casting out a demon, he wanted them to go feed the poor. Or maybe while they were feeding the poor, instead he wanted them to witness to somebody. So it's it and the only way you can know that is if you have God living in you with his laws written on your heart. So Hebrews 10 is about Jesus perfectly fulfilling God's will because he is God, but also about us. We're not supposed to be sacrificing for God. We're supposed to be obeying Jesus and doing what he tells us to do through his word and through the Holy Spirit. So um because he said after those days i'll write my laws upon their heart and on their mind i will write them so god writes his law on our mind and heart gives us his holy spirit and the word of god the bible so we can do his will and not just offer sacrifices like i did this for you god i did this for you god he wants us instead to do what he wants us to do and the only way for us to know what he wants us to do is to give our whole life to Jesus in a moment of time, turn our back on everything. Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. Boom, you give your life to Jesus. So, um, and then you, and then the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus will lead you and tell you what to do. Um, God will show you what to do. Um, and then before you're saved, you try the Holy Spirit is not before you're saved the holy spirit is not in you but he is with you if you're seeking to do his will and it's again about doing his will before you're saved even so anyways so it's god's not interested in us doing a bunch of stuff for him he's interested in obedience and it's also our love for him if we love him we're going to obey him and he loves us and he's going to help us and he's going to direct us so anyways, so doing stuff for God is out. Doing the exact will of God with God's help is in. <laughs> Love you, Jesus loves you. Which we won't do perfectly, but if you have God living in you, you're going to be doing God's will. Like you, it's, it's almost automatic. Like God is running you. Um, anyways, give your life to Jesus before it's too late. Love you, Jesus loves you. Cheers.